Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox and White. So in this video, we can learn how to implement Glide library to your Android application, right? So basically what is Glide uh, library? Those of you who do not know about this library. So this is quite a popular library to fetch image from URL to your Android application, right? Most of the application do need this type of library. As you know that in most of the applications, we are fetching some images from some URL, right? So this is quite a simple library. It makes the tedious task very simple, right? So we're going to learn how to implement that and we'll be using Kotlin as the backend language for this tutorial, right? So let me just give you a glimpse of what we're going to get by the end of this video. So if you can see here on my emulator, I have this button called load image. If I just tap on this button, here you can see an image has been fetched from a web URL, right? If I just again tap on this, the image changes. So every time it fetches a new image from the URL that I have provided. So if you want to learn the same and implement this to your Android application, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So let's just start with the tutorial. So first we're gonna design our front end thing. So we need two things, the image view. Let me just delete this. The image view, right? And you can just select this avatar and we're gonna constrain it to the parent on all the four sides. And let me just give it a margin of 250 from the bottom. And we want the square image so let's set the height and width as 300 db and now we need a button so we're going to consider it to parent horizontally and to right and let us just give some margin but 2 db let's say okay looks fine right and we want to change the text Okay, I guess we are good to go. So this is our front end thing. So and the IDs, I've just kept the default IDs. The ID for the image view is image view only. And for this button, it's button right. So now let's go to the back end thing. So very first thing is we want to implement this library. So we just go to Google, just type here Glide, right? And you will get this GitHub link just tap on this link just scroll down and here you will get this so we need to copy these two lines and we want to paste it here and the second thing we want to enable the view binding so we'll do these two things together now let's just sync the project so okay guys this thing has been completed now we are going to go to our manifest file so for this application we do need the internet right so we'll just declare the permission and that is it now let us just get it done with the view binding thing Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the on click listener on our button. So binding dot button dot set on click listener. Now whenever the user taps on this button, we want to load some images, right? So we'll just go to this website called pick some photos, right? So here you can see it gives us a URL, right? Two URLs. So if you we want to get a square image, we can use this URL. So we are going to copy this. So every time you open this URL, it gives you a different image. So for illustration purpose, it is a perfect website. So I'm going to copy this. And here we are going to declare it. 
as the size of image view is 300 so i'll just change it to 300 now we are going to use glide dot width we are going to pass the context of the activity and load will pass the url we'll use fit center dot into binding dot image view right so this is how we get the image so it is defined here as well if i can see it here you can see glide dot width dot load into image view right we have used this line of code here so that is all if you want to fetch the image you need not to worry about anything these four lines of code will do the work for you right so now let us just run this application and see if it works or not right so okay guys the app has been installed so now let me just tap on this button so here you can see we have fetched the image now let me just tap again you can see i have tapped many times but the image does not change right so is there some error in our code what's happening so the thing is uh, glide is a very good library it uses the concept of cache right so whenever you give a url it caches the image that has been retrieved into the internal memory right and whenever you give the same url it does not fetch the new image right it will get the image from the cache only so but it does not know that every time you go to this url a new image will come up so to solve this issue we need to modify some we want to cancel the cache we want to tell the library that we do not want this cache thing so you every time i give you a url you get the new image right and the second thing is uh, when i was uh, giving the illustration in the starting you must have seen that whenever i tap on this button a uh, placeholder will come up right when the image goes blank a default image will come up so for that what we need is we need an image we want to copy this and paste it what drawable it really depends on you if you want to do this or not right it just gives a nice look to your application right so first thing we're going to do is we are going to tell the library that we do not want to use the cache thing so we need to write skip memory cache as true and the second thing is disk cache strategy disk cache strategy dot none and if you want to implement the placeholder thing so dot placeholder so here you will get the give the resource that you want to use while the image is getting fetched so r dot drawable dot placeholder right so let me just rerun this app so okay the app has been installed now let us just tap on this button you can see a placeholder comes up whenever the image is getting fetched right so this is the image if i just tap again image has been changed right because we have skipped the cache and the placeholder does comes right so i guess we have successfully implemented this library to our android application and i also hope that you guys have understood the code but still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on the screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming amazing tutorials right so if you want to learn the android development so lots of tutorials are going to come so stay tuned tap on that subscribe button so that is pretty much everything for this video see you in another video bye